Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great weekend together, and I hope you're just as excited as I am to get back to business here on Monday. I'm going to be doing the writing lessons this week, and I'm super excited to get started. So here we go. Okay, so I know a lot of people are familiar with this paper. We use it for our student of the week writing to just give them a little love and fill their bucket. So I was thinking we could use this paper and do the same thing, but send it to people that we're thinking about and that we miss and that we could cheer up a little bit. So I think that we're going to start with making a list of people you might want to send a letter to. So you can do this with your family or whoever's with you right now. People to write to. Now you guys can do this together and kind of think about people who you'd want to write to. Now I think I'm going to start with my grandma, my aunts, my uncles, my neighbors. I can write to some of my friends at school or friends from school. Hmm. That's my list so far. Now I can keep adding to this and I can keep writing letters every day, but just want to keep this handy so I can check off as I go people that I've written to and just to let them know that I'm thinking about them. So I think I'm going to start with my grandma today. So I'm going to keep this paper, put this paper aside and on my writing paper here on the back, what I usually do with my class is we brainstorm. So I'm going to put grandma in the middle. I'm going to put her in a little cloud. And you can use words or pictures to think about what do you want to say to your grandma. So let's look at this paper. Now again, you can use any other paper that you want. You can use a blank paper. You can use a paper that has more lines for writing on it. Um, I'm just using this one because we're pretty familiar with it. Um, but again, use the paper that you have that you, that you prefer to use for this. So we're going to write our name and we're going to write dear whoever you're writing to, mine's going to say, dear grandma, I like you, you are, so this is the word we're brainstorming right now. We need to find an adjective, a word that describes the person you're writing to. So going back to my grandma on the back, some things that she is. My grandma is really funny. So I'm going to draw a little picture that makes me think, okay, she's really funny. My grandma is really caring. My grandma is an animal lover. I think that's where I got my love of animals from. And animal lover. Hmm, you are a good cook. Hmm. What else could I write to my grandma? You're funny, you're caring, you're an animal lover, you're a good cook, you're a good hugger. You are kind. Now a lot of people in my class like to write fast. I'm not sure if that's because it's one of the shortest things you can write or if they really think everyone is fast. But I will tell you right now, my grandma is not that fast. So I cannot write fast. But there are lots of long things I can write and short things I can write depending on my writing at this time. So I have a lot more things I could say about my grandma. But from my brainstorm here, I might even choose two of them. I might choose funny and caring. So 
slipping back over here, remember, I start, oop, did it pause? Oh, there we go. I start at the top with my name, not grandma, my name. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put my name because she doesn't call me Miss Myers. She calls me Stacy. So I'm going to write my real name. And now dear grandma. And you can see I'm not rushing. I'm taking my time because if I'm going to send somebody a letter to show them that I'm caring about them, I want to make sure it's the best that I can do, that I'm really taking my time for them. And remember, you can go back to that letter or that list that you've come up with with your family to see how to spell everything. You can ask them, how do you spell my Aunt Shannon's name or my Uncle Troy? You can go through and write all those names down so that when you get to your writing page, you can just easily find it and write down who you're writing to. So, dear Grandma, I like you. You are, those were these two brainstormed words I was going to use, funny and caring. So I've got funny. Now I need my space here. And so if you want to use more than one, you can use that and. My space again. Caring. Now there's already a period for me there, so I don't have to add it. Okay, you guys know what to do in this space. This is our illustration space. Now, just like I did with my printing up here with my writing, I want to make sure it's the best that I can do. So I'm going to use a lot of colors, a lot of details, and take up the whole space. So I, I also want my picture to match my words. So you are funny and caring. So I might draw both of us. Not as stick figures. Start with our heads, ears here. Now she and I have the same color eyes. I was going to use a pencil before, I think. Oops, <laughs> she's looking up. <laughs> Maybe she'll be the funny one. This will be the funny one. I'll put her eyes all crazy. I should be looking at her, huh? Maybe I can do that. Mm. Oh, and then eyelashes. She likes to wear lipstick. I don't wear as much lipstick. But I'll just have a smile because she's making me laugh. Now I've got kind of curlier hair here. And my grandma has brownish hair and it's kind of short. Faces in. Again, you can see I'm not rushing. I'm trying to use lots of colors. Make sure I've got all the details on my faces. Next, not a stick neck. And let's see, she likes to wear big comfy sweatshirts. So I think I'm going to draw her wearing a big comfy sweatshirt. gonna have, she likes to go to Reno. So she's gonna be wearing a shirt that says Reno. Peanut butter coloring, doing my best work. All right, I'm wearing a turtleneck today. Here's my turtleneck. Oops. 
leaves. Okay, so let's see, how can I show that she's funny and caring? I'll just put some thought bubbles maybe. We're gonna share a thought bubble. We're we'll thinking of each other. All right, and now for my background, I can do a sunny day, or you might wanna do nighttime. But when I think of my grandma, I think of sunshine and sunny days and birds in the sky. And maybe I'll make it a different color blue. I color that whole page. list today just to start off the week. You don't have to do this every day, but you can continue adding to it every day and checking off who you've written to every day just to keep track of that. I did my brainstorm on the back to think of all the things I could write to my grandma, and then I chose just a couple. Did my best writing from the top. Did my illustrating. Now I can go show it to someone. I'm going to show. Sorry, Charlie, do you not like the light? There we go, that's a little bit better. So now I can read my writing to someone. It could be a sibling, it could be a parent, anybody at home that you can read to. But I want you to share, share your writing with them. This is what I wrote today, Charlie. I wrote my name at the top, it was a writer name, and it says, Dear Grandma, I like you. You are funny and caring. And I chose those two because those are the first things I think of when I think of my grandma, that she makes me smile, she makes me laugh, and I know she loves me, and she's thinking about me too. So that was my writing today. Now what you can do is you can take a picture and send it to the person you wrote to. You can try to mail it to them, you can email it to them. There's lots of ways you can get that to them. Um, but that's something we're going to be working on this week, is writing letters to others. And if you need to... You should have this nearby to help you sound anything out. You can have a family member help you sound things out as well. And make sure you check out the next video on our handwriting practice as well. Happy writing today.